Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we are going to show you a video. <laughs>
that is the reason of divorce is different personality. So <laughs> it's like a every man you say that woman can do anything like a just stay the kids and, and things like this and stay at home, look after the kids and things like this. But we women say like a the man should should help us in a in a, at home with the girls home and things like this. So we have many fights and many divorces just because something happened at home and they couldn't have something in common to solve this, to solve it. So, um, to know each other before you get married, I think for me it would be so nice. Because I know that I'm so strong and my, my personality is so strong. So to live together is a kind of like a, you need to be responsible to do the things that you need to do at home, but you need to help each other. So how? How to live together well if you don't know? So one important reason for me is this. So and uh, can you show us the Korea? Let's take a look at the <coughs> financial advantage. Uh, living together before marriage is less expensive than marriage. Uh, in Korea, one couple, one couple needs about two two hundred twenty thousand. Four hundred dollars on the average. It's it's very huge amount of money, mm -hmm. and but it's not only it's not only the Korean problem. In Brazil, uh, there were uh, some women some women in the dress in the wedding dress had a protest to. <laughs> to demand a reduction of wedding cost. Uh, they they complained the uh, they complained the unreasonable cost of uh, rent um, cost rental fee or buffet and photo it's very expensive. And Also, they are, uh, we are mm -hmm. able to collect money before marriage. Mm -hmm. It's very reasonable, and now we can we can we can see the side of obligation. Oh yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> come on. <laughs> I think the first thing when you think in divorce is the woman with everything. <laughs> the house, the dogs, the son, the everything. <laughs> but suddenly it's not true. That, and the worst thing is the divorce. Uh, in Brazil, I, I was researching about yesterday and I found that 46% was the percentage in divorce in Brazil last year. 46%. <laughs> wow. People got married and then divorced one week ago, like uh, later. And you know, why? For me, get married is something that is beautiful. It's two people that plan it, you live together. You just be a one, you know, it's two mean one. So, how, how 46% can be like a, 
so big, it does in one country. I don't, I, I didn't find for another country, but I found a law in Brazil that now is changing. So if you want to live together, even if you are living together, get married or not, if you are living together, you have a relationship that's like a two years already, or more than two. And when the couple break up, everything should can need to be health for each other. Everything, like everything the guy, the couple bought together during the relationship, needs to be health. Because the first thing that when someone's going to divorce is like, the house is for me. No, the house is for me because I have the kids. Do you know? So the first thing is health, health everything. So I think it's less responsible too because you can live together before you get married. So you you don't need like a, a paper a paper to to say like a, what you are like in your relationship and to do everything like a, before you get divorced. So and is a connection with to live together and know each other before and live together without too many responsible. Because if you know each other, if you're knowing, you know, you can say, you can have a many kinds of conversation and find a solution together. And then you can connect, live together before getting married and know each other with less responsible. Like a, the woman, take the garbage out every day for the guy, you know. Like, I know many couples in Brazil that they have some rules at home. They say, like, uh, part of the day, the man, when the man is at home, he should do something to help her at home. And, of course, like, uh, sometimes they, they change the who is going to cook or something like this. Because I think it's less responsible responsible. You can live together and you can have fun time, have time, and without, you know, like, a, oh, we are married. I'm a wife and you're a husband. You should work and I should just look after the kids and stay at home. It's not like this. You can connect to everything together and find every kind of solution together. You know, so I think is I think it's good. Everything's connecting. So. Um, so oops. now. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So now we know how beneficial living together before marriage is. Uh, <coughs> it helps. You unburden your money problem, and you can get an opportunity to, to discover if, if your partner is a total psycho, and and you can also get some rights without merit. And I have one more reason. Why? Uh, do you know why? Do you know why if living together before marriage is important? No. Because life is being together with the person who you love. Thank you.